intervals, sixth page, 51. Okay, I feel once we get to these pages, it's a little bit harder. The intervals are bigger. They're harder to tell apart. You know, it's like kids have to actually start counting. Um, but one day they won't have to. They'll just be like, oh, that's sixth. Okay, what are you supposed to do? This is what your page looks like if it's not filled out. All boring and blank, right? Okay, what are you supposed to do? Choose a clef, treble or bass. So in the first little measure here, treble or bass. And then with that color, you fill in all your notes in every measure. You do one big whole note, wherever you want. Next step, choose your arrows, up or down. You know, kids fill in randomly, whatever they want. And then, well this, and by the way, these arrows need to be a different color. See, so let's go, oh, I guess we got Christmas colors over here. Red and green, okay. So, see how I started with red? Got all my red notes, do, 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 do. And then we have our green arrows, and all those second notes are gonna be written according to the arrows. So right now I wrote down, so you need to go down a sixth. So how do I explain a sixth? Um, one, it's an even number interval, so it's gonna look, oh, I always find it less, it's more ugly. It's, it's harder to tell. So if it's ugly, and its further part must be a sixth. <laughs> okay, so let's say that they have a space. It has to go from a space to a line, right? So, uh, here's your space, and you know the next one has to be a line, but you have to skip two lines. So we start a space, skip, skip, draw. Okay, now we've got a space, so the next one has to be a line. Skip, skip, draw, right? You go line, line. So it's the third line, basically, right? So let's try this. Let's do this one. Okay, it's a space, so the next one has to be a line. So you have to draw on the third line down. Skip, skip, draw, right? This one's a line, so the next one has to be a space. So you go to the first space that's right next to it. Skip, skip, draw. Does that make sense? Maybe that's easy for them to do it that way. And then play it, and then the kids panic, but it's okay. <laughs> Number two, pink treble cliff. I guess all of these are treble cliffs. Didn't get too fancy on this page, huh? Okay, so treble clef, draw. Oh, look at that, that's pretty. That must sound pretty, I'm gonna play that. Okay, and the kids will all, they'll, they'll probably do this, where they're like, oh, let's do a pattern. They'll do all the notes up and then down, and then it sounds really good. Okay, so pink, draw all your notes in each measure. Do, 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 do. All your arrows, up, 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 down, 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 down. <laughs> and draw according. So let's, let's see what this sounds like. Let's go. Broke. Am I playing this right? I know I'm stirred in the wrong place. Oh, I'm right. Okay. D, E, F, B, C. And then down. Hmm. That was okay. Okay. And then number three. See? So let's pretend it's blank. What am I supposed to do? Treble, clef, or bass? I chose treble. Draw all your orange notes. Do, 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 do. And then green. Up, down, up, down, whatever you want. And then draw the sixth according. Okay, space, that means it's a line. So you go one, two, three, draw. Okay, space, so it has to be a line. Lots. One, two, three, so you draw it on the third one. So if you guys have little tricks to help them understand how to draw intervals, feel free to send me some tips too. I'm always looking for new ways to teach stuff. Okay, bye.